Hello, my name is Diana Esquivel. I am a Security Technical Consulting Engineer from Cisco TAG. The purpose of this video is to show you the different types of certificates and the way they are stored within iServers. The first thing that needs to be clarified is what a certificate is. A certificate is a signed document that represents an identity. It is an electronic document that identifies an individual, a server, a company, or another entity and associates that entity with a public key. A certificate can be used on ICE for communication between ICE nodes, communication between Cisco ICE and external servers such as the Syslog and FIT servers, and communication between Cisco ICE and end user portals such as Guest, Sponsor, and BYOD portals. There is a certificate classification based on the certificate signer. These are the three different certificates that can be found out on I. Self-signed certificate. This means the certificate is signed by its creator. In this case, the I server signs its own certificate and there is no certificate authority chain. Internal CA signed certificates. Certificates can be digitally signed by a certificate authority. ICE can act as a certificate authority. This type of certificate contains a certificate authority chain, commonly referencing ICEPAN as a certificate authority. The internal ICA offers these functionalities. Certificate issuance, validates and signs certificate signing requests for endpoints that connect to the network. Key management. Generates and securely stores keys and certificates on both PAN and PSN nodes. Certificate storage. Stores certificates that are issued to users and devices. Online Certificate Status Protocol Support Provides an OCSP responder to check the validity of certificates. External CA Signed Certificates As well, there is the option to have the certificate digitally signed by an external CA. This is considered an industry standard and more secure than a self-signed certificate. Where to find certificates on ICE? The path to verify information regarding ICE certificates is displayed on the PAN GUI, on Administration, System, Certificates. Right there, we can find out the following three sections. System certificates under Certificate Management. In here, information regarding certificates associated with each server can be found for the following roles. Admin for internode communication and authenticating the administration portal. EAP authentication for TLS based EAP authentication. Radius DTLS for Radius DTLS server authentication. Portal for communicating with all Cisco IS end user portals. SAML for verifying that the SAML responses are being received from the correct identity provider. PXGrid for communicating with the PXGrid controller. Trusted Store under Certificate Management. It contains all the Certificate Authorities chain certificates. It is necessary to import CA certificates in here in case a third party CA signed certificate is being used for an I server. Certificate Authority certificates under Certificate Authority. In here, the certificates of the chain of internal CA of ICE can be found. You can select the certificate of interest and click on View to display its information, such as the serial number, sounds, and so forth. To export certificates from ICE, you need to follow these steps. Navigate to Administration, System, Certificates. Then, the location at which the certificate of interest is stored. Select the Certificate of Interest. Click Export. 
choose Expert Certificate and Private Key. Provide a password that will be used later when importing the Certificate Key Pair. Click Export. The key pair is exported as a zip file. If you have any other questions, you can always contact Cisco Tech. Thanks for watching.